Hi Aries, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot and I'm here to do your March 2018 reading. Um, I want to say thank you for all your shares, likes, and subscribes. And um, uh, I want to mention that March is uh, the sugar moon and the sugar moon represents uh, going into the sugar bush and tapping the maple trees for the sweet water, which we turn into maple syrup. So um, we have a lot of festivals here in Canada for that, and it's our first nourishment after the long um, winter. And um, so we like to celebrate that here. So also in March, of course, is the spring equinox on the 21st. So that's when, you know, it's a time of rebirth. Um, the winter, everything dies or goes to sleep, hibernates, and in the spring it comes back to life again. And we do too, you know, we... We spring to life, we get more energy, We um, the juices are flowing, you know. And um, also at St. Patrick's Day on the 17th, so I wanted to say happy St. Patrick's Day to all my Irish listeners and viewers. <laughs> so let's get on with your uh, March reading, Aries. So what do we have for messages? I've already pre-shuffled the cards quite a bit, but I like to do some more shuffling um, on the spot. Aries. Aries, March 2018. Aries. I think they're ready. So your first card in your past energy is the Ace of Wands. So it looks like you've been um, uh, presented with an opportunity um, some, for some sort of creative venture. It could be a new position. It could be a new job. It could be a new um, just direction in your, uh, in your, th th your life that way. In your creative energy, what you do, what your your skills are. So there's something new that has um, presented itself for you, Aries. After that is the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is about being completely exhausted after going through a really hard time, and and through through the whole journey of the Swords, you know, from the one to the ten and. And they're all pointed down at you right now, but they're not threatening. They're all illuminated, golden even. And um, it's like you can still feel them here. They're not, they're not here, but you can still feel them here. It's the aftermath. And it's... It's a time that you need to recharge, re-energize. You need to take a break after this and... and um, and recharge, refill your cup so that you're ready to, um, you know, like I'm talking, the cup I'm talking about is the, the cup half empty, the cup half full. And when we give a lot and do a lot and go through something tough, you know, we're just empty, we're drained. So you need to fill back up and, and, um, recharge. Okay. Um, your next card is the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is Earth Energy, and that is um, Virgo, uh, Taurus, and Capricorn. And um, the King of Pentacles is quite comfortable. You know, he's kind of sitting on his laurels there uh, with his gigantic pentacle behind him. He, he he's, he's quite comfortable... Um, so, you know, this guy has a good stability, a good foundation around him. He's definitely not poor. And it's someone that you might get advice from um, financially. You know, it could be a financial lender even. Um, but you might ask this person about um, financial opportunities for this new venture here, you know. They could be advising you, um, but I kind of get the feeling that they are not, they're not going out of their way to help you. 
and then you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is, um, this knight is very uh, gung-ho. He's ready to go after his love and to claim his love. He um, He's emotionally driven, you know, and knights are, um, they're like guardians, you know, they're champions, and he is the champion of love. He, he's in love. He feels completely energetic and ready to go after what he is after, what he seeks, you know, emotionally. <laughs> And then the Ace of Swords. So the truth is out. Um, the sword is out of the sheath. Okay. And there's truth. The truth is out. And it's going to cause some disruptions. You know. Um, and you can choose whether to be changed by this truth or not. All right. This this is up to you uh, depending on how you decide to handle this truth to accept this truth to see this truth a anyway it's out and you're you're finding out about it um one of these two people here could be delivering this truth uh it could be uh, uh, a truth about your love uh it could be a truth about your financial possibilities or um, about investing with this guy, about, uh, it's a truth about investing like this, um, you know, you're definitely getting, getting your energy back and your you're, you know, it's like you're carrying your heart on your sleeve, you know, with all this emotion and this energy to just, uh, ride after your, uh, the one you desire, you know, toward them, ride toward them. Let's see what's going on in your present energy. You have justice and the justice card is about, um, Something turning out in your favor, okay? Some something is going to turn in your favor. It's going to be a fair, um, fair justice for you, okay? You know, and this could be out of this truth that's here. You know, it's like in this justice card, there's there's going to be a fair judgment or there's going to be a fair decision, but um, fair justice for you. But it took some steps to get here. You know, this, um, I, I think it's compromising. There's some compromising here, okay? And this is your present energy. Um, there's the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is heartbreak, and um, it's great sorrow. It's it's being wounded, you know, and uh, uh, I, I, there's three different swords here. So it could be, like, I think it might be uh, uh, in more than one way or from more than one direction. You know, you don't see some of it coming. One you might be able to see because the truth is out. Like I said, here it is, you know, but these other two you did not see coming. Okay. And I think it's going to be really, it's going to really hurt your feelings, you know. Um, yeah. And give you anxiety. It's going to bother you so much that it's going to, it's going to follow you into your dreams and into your sleep. It's going to keep you awake at night. You're going to, it's hurting your heart. She's covering her heart and it's hurting. It's, 
you know, it's attacking you when you're vulnerable even. You know, that's what this card is about. Being attacked even when you're vulnerable and you sleep. You can't even be in your own home and sanctuary and, and you're still not, you're still being bothered by this. And, and again, the, the swords are coming from all different directions, causing confusion, causing some turmoil. Um... The owl is in the picture, is in the window ledge, and the owl is there to suggest that you need to do some observing. You know, you need to do some observing, some kind, like investigation without action, just watching, okay? Um, and the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is um, that you've made a decision in the direction you want to go. And and this is, it commonly happens after something like this. Like this bothers you so much that it really changes um, where you are at the present time, how you feel about what you're doing now and how that you're doing it and who you're doing it with. And so you may decide to um, take a break from it all. I think you may decide to take a break. There's a boat. He's standing at the water's edge at daybreak, you know, and he's there way before his transportation is ready to leave. So he's planned this ahead of time. So I think you're going to make travel plans um, because I think you need to get away for a while, you know. You have good things coming your way, but I think you need a bit of a break before you're ready to pursue them. And the Knight of Swords. So he is the champion of truth. He is he's ready to face the truth this guy okay um he you know he's moving to and he is um the swords are also about you know how we communicate and how we think strategically, you know, how we're going to work this out in our head before we talk about it or put any action into it. So he is, he, he is now more of a strategic thinker, you know, now that he's the knight and he knows what the truth is. He's ready to move forward knowing exactly what he's doing. You know, he's still wearing armor, though. You know, he's still protecting himself because he's still he's still feeling vulnerable. He's still got armor on. So anyway, in your uh, future outcome energy, you have the nine of wands. And the Nine of Wands is about success, actually. It's you've accomplished what you set out to do. Like, look at all those wands behind you standing straight up. You know, they're like pillars and that you've built. So you have done it. You, you've come to the, to the end of this thing that you were working on, this project or um, whatever deal you were working on, but you're qu quite worn out now. So, you know, there's two areas that you're worn out here. And one, oops, one is um, mentally you're drained and now um, physically you're drained. You know, you're, you're, uh, you're down on one knee and you're so tired out. You can't even appreciate what you've been able to do, what you've been able to accomplish. accomplish. So, um, you know, 
hopefully this is coming out in your outcome. Um, you know, after, after some rest, you'll be able to see that all that you've been able to do. You're just about there. You're just about there. Um, and also the nines represent change, right? So this is, this is like, uh, Quite often at the end of any project or any big job you're doing, there's a last boost at the end. There's just a last challenge, a last thing to get through before it's complete. And it's on your mind. It's like there's just, there's just, you know, he's got to get all these wands back. He's, he's got, he's gathered all these wands and he's just got to get them all back. And they're just, you know. <laughs> It's quite a task to carry all of them. And um, your next card is the Five of Swords. And this um, card is both a win and a loss card. Um, you've won. You've won the battle. But what have you won? You know, behind you, all your team is completely worn out and uh useless you know they're they're falling down you've uh you've you've and the and the land behind you is on fire and burning and and it it's it's not that great you know it's like what have you won so sometimes winning is not the important the most important thing in the battle is the message of this card okay Uh, your next card is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a celebration card. You know, it's, um, you've got, you, it's like getting halfway to your point or a little over halfway. You've reached your point and there's a celebration um, to, to, you know, uh, support you you know, uh, to honor you that you have made it to this point and people are recognizing you. You know, there's all these people around saying, wow, you're really doing great, eh? You know, you're you're quite successful and um, being talked about and recognized. This is recognition for all your hard work, for all of this hard work. This is your recognition finally, okay? You're going to recognize it and others are going to recognize it. And I said, you know, um, I said, you know, sometimes it just takes a little time until you're a little rest until you're able to see everything that you've been able to accomplish. And this is the Ten of Cups and it's about um, contentment, happiness, um and and these these ladies here, they they sit out here and they're waiting. This represents what you're coming home to. Okay, this is what you're coming home to. This is so nice. It's so happy. That all the cups are there. The 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 cute little house and the family there. And there's even a cat. You know. Um, I'm not sure what this, oh, she has the yarn, I guess. So it, it's also about um, support too, you know. Um, they're helping each other here. Everybody's helping out in some way. But anyway, this is like really beautiful. It's contentment and joy. Emotional contentment. And the star. What a nice card to end up. The whole reading. This card is about having clarity. You're clearing the dirty water and you're able to see a lot clearer now. Um, your, your mind, uh, your, your mind is a lot more open at this point and you're able to see things for what they are a lot clearer and without getting too um upset about it you know you're you're ready to handle things and say oh okay that's that you're, you're not taking it all on personally 
other thing about the star is about um, presenting yourself in a vulnerable way um, to just have faith, even though you haven't been promised or guaranteed anything. There's nothing that says that you should believe, um, but you're, you're deciding you're going to because you've seen the light in some way. And, and by seeing the light, like something has come clear for you. Okay. Um, this also a card of hope too. You know, having hope for the future. And this is what this time machine is about. Now that things have, have come clear for you, you have a lot of hope for the future. You've, you've, even though you've had heartbreak and anxiety and, you know, um, gone through these hardships, you have renewed hope. And that's so nice. So nice. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed your reading, Aries. And um, I'd like to tell you that you can find me on Facebook at Tinker Tarot. Um, I'm also building my website right now, TinkerTarot.com, but it's still under construction. And uh, I'm adding a lot of stuff and just building it. And it's extremely time consuming. Um, and I'm not that tech savvy. So <laughs> thanks for your patience. Um, I also wanted to set out a little message um, about senior citizens, our elders. And, um, you know, the there's the message out there about being kind. Um, but I'd like to extend it to senior citizens. And, and just whenever you can, if you can just lend them a help in hand, getting up a curb or down some steps or something like that. And I just feel like they're being forgotten out there, you know. So thanks a lot if you're doing that. And um, have a great March, Aries. Bye now.